Hey everybody, it's John with JohnLumber.com and John Limmer Digital on Facebook. Here to talk about a solution to the Facebook promoted post spam problem. Now, I wrote a blog post yesterday about how uh, when you create a Facebook promoted post, especially if you use a higher budget than the minimum, you'll inevitably get a lot of spam. And the reason for this really comes down to, to three main things. The first is, no matter whether you target fans only or fans plus friends of fans, there will be a, an ad created that targets non-fans. And that is a sponsored story that's automatically generated. And if you, if you set a high budget, more and more of that budget Will be assigned to that sponsored story because when you think about it if you only have say a thousand fans or two thousand fans you're not going to run up much of a bill um, with this with say a one dollar cpm so um, what facebook does then is you you leans on that uh sponsored story so anyway that sponsored story in itself may not be a problem but the second issue is that by default and you can't edit this your, your um, promoted posts utilize optimized CPM and what that means is Facebook targets your ad at people most likely to perform the desired action which that action is uh, some type of engagement and what that ends up meaning though is that that ad ends up being targeted at bots um, not into only bots, but a lot of bots because they more often than not perform actions mo more frequently than humans do. It's just the way it is. So that's kind of the, the evil of optimized CPM and that you'll get a lot of results that look great on the surface, but they're not humans. So th those are the two main issues. Uh, the third is that you can't edit uh, geo targeting because uh, again you can't really edit much of anything with the promoted post um, so the combination of those three things uh, when, and when you can't edit geo targeting um, you can't remove countries that are known to, to have a higher concentration of bots and, and uh, undesirable accounts so the combination of those three things is you don't get um, as much out of your promoted post as you should or as you could um, so this isn't to say the promoted posts are completely worthless it's just that the results that we've been seeing at least on the surface are so incredibly good um, but they're just they're okay um, and they could be a lot better if you could edit those three things now I'm going to show you how you can do it all right so here is a post I had promoted it I immediately paused it and now let's go into our Facebook ad manager. All right, so I clicked on campaigns and ads, and I found here, this is that post I was talking about that I just promoted. Click on that. Okay, I right, ran up a bill of 17 cents, unfortunately. Um, so you'll see here that there are two ads that were created. The first is basically my promoted post. Now, now understand, a promoted post in itself is not an ad unit. It's basically just a package. Uh, they, they throw, Facebook throws together two or three ads, depending on, you, on whether you target fans or friends of fans, and they, they package it together. So this is that the basically uh, a page post ad that will go, at least they used to call it that. I'm not sure if anyone calls it that anymore. It goes into news feeds only. Okay. Uh, I'll just bring that up so you can see it. And then this one down here is that sponsored story. This is the item that we don't want. And the reason for that is pretty simple. As you can see, this regular ad is targeted at, at fans only. This one here, the sponsored story, no such connection. All right, so this can go to anybody, whether they're fans or non-fans or, or otherwise. As long as they have some connection, it could be through subscription or through friends. Um, and that they're connected to somebody who is a fan of your page and as a result you're gonna be target you're gonna be hitting a ton of non-fans 
and if you want to keep the results clean and if you have a page that has very limited bot activity within your page itself you don't want this the problem is that let's see hold on let me let me bring up the campaign again because otherwise you won't see what I'm talking about um, you can activate and pause the campaign but you cannot pause individual ads of a promoted post you can of other campaigns but again promoted posts are very rigid so if I try to pause it click pause nothing happens what you can do though is delete this this uh, ad so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete it confirm and it's gone so now all I have left is this ad that's targeted at only my fans so you know I could just stop at this step and in some cases I have been especially since I feel relatively confident that my page is pretty clean of bots I mean there, there are some you can't avoid it but in in general I don't I really don't get much spam on my, on my content so I feel confident uh, promoting this post just at them using the optimized CPM that said you may want to change it to CPM how do you do that well you can't do it within this um, you have to duplicate the ad and start over um, and I've been doing that through power editor okay okay so you click on active campaigns you find this campaign if it's not already on ads click on ads you'll find that one ad um, that is active so um, what we want to do is duplicate this ad so just click duplicate click OK now you're gonna want to completely change the name of this I've found if I just leave it like this with just a one or something else um, Facebook sees this as an ad as part of that um, promoted post and they, since they don't want you editing promoted posts, uh, it would be I'd, I'd be given an error. So instead, I'm just going to do fans only CPM. Okay, and now I want to edit this ad. I go into pricing and status. You see, it's set at optimized CPM. Instead, change it to CPM. I'll change it just to five dollars for fun, and I'm done. Now. A third thing I can do is change uh, the geotargeting, and that is within audience. Um, and the reason you do this is, like I said before, um, the concentration of bot and undesirable accounts is higher in certain countries. But beyond that, maybe you, your business is only relevant to specific countries. And in that case, you're kind of throwing money away if you're targeting others. So. Um, just, just for fun, what I'm going to do is delete everything other than the United States. Now, as I'm doing this, let me explain something to you. This is significantly limiting your audience. And the more countries you delete, the less, the smaller the audience becomes, and the less likely Facebook is to run your ad. So keep that in mind. I've found that, um... I do have some trouble uh, getting Facebook to run my ad when I do this, but um, it's really depends on the size of your audience. Uh, but I, I think it is worth at least an attempt to see to see if you can get it done. Um, so once you're done with that, go ahead and upload. Now you'll see it's two of two ads, and I got an error. The error, as long as both ads as long as you're not given two errors, there would have been a second one underneath here, you're fine. This error is associated with me uh, clicking on that promoted post ad the first time. So just to confirm though, let's go in here, refresh, and there's my new ad that is up for review. It will be reviewed, excuse me, it will be approved. Now the one drawback of this is if I want to see my stats on my page, go ahead and click on this, um, it's okay as long as I keep um, the, the the ad that they created okay so I've got no errors here but I do not believe this is going to include the stats of that new ad I, I created 
And if I were to if I were to delete both ads and and just duplicate and kind of recreate the, those ads that were there before and eliminate basically what what they what they had created, I'll get a big error here and I'll get a whole lot of nothing. So we will lose that convenience of being able to view the stats within here, but it's it's worth it. Um, you'll just have to go into the Facebook Ad Manager to view it. The results so far have been exceptional for me. I mean, as you see on this ad here, um, I, I did really precisely what I just walked you through. And um, just like I was saying about the geo-targeted stuff, this ad is only shown to 49 people. And I haven't gotten any action on it yet, but <laughs> it's only 49 people. But this other one has reached 860 of my fans, 50 actions, 40 clicks, $3.80, and a CTR of 4.287%. That's silly. Um, those are the kind of numbers that you want to see. And when you see those kind of numbers, you really don't care if you're getting a $4 CPM because uh, spending $3.80 to get 40 clicks um, so basically, I mean, it's just the, you, you, you kill for those kinds of numbers and you're not throwing money away to get padded clicks on bots and non fans that aren't relevant to you. So I see this as a huge breakthrough with promoted posts, something I, I highly advise that you, you, uh, attempt as well on your page to optimize your effectiveness, save your money and spend it where you need it to be spent. So that's it. Uh, for more information on this, I've written a blog post about it on johnlimmer.com. Make sure you like my page on Facebook at John Limber Digital. Thanks.